What is up, YouTube? And today we're gonna be talking about the reworked Hoochie store, who'll be running for about two weeks now. Now, Hoochie is available if you click next to Garo here, this blue little rat, and his store has been reworked dramatically. First, you're gonna see that there's no Mystic Medals, and a lot of prices have been changed. And also a big thing that might bait a lot of new players is these 5-star hero and 5-star artifact summon tickets. These used to be 4 to 5-star, now they're guaranteed at a 5-star, and some people might be very, very tempted to buy these. And I kind of want to tell you guys right off the bat that it might not really be worth it. You are kind of set up to fail for these tickets because, first off, they're just way more bad 5-star heroes and 5-star artifacts than they're good. If we look at, like, artifacts, for example, let's just look at a random class here. Let's look at Ranger, right? So this Candle artifact, it's decent, but not the best. You're not going to use this too much. Elgus's artifact is not that good. Lua's artifact, you're not going to use on too many units. Glow Wings artifact, you're not going to use on too many units. Um, these are all limited. Air to uh, Surface Missile is actually pretty good. Unseen Observer, only really used on Flan, but Flan's not great. Uh, Wall of Order, Misconfile, and Guiding Light are limited. Ducks Knocked is not that great either. Iron Fan, not that good either. So you kind of get what I'm saying. For artifacts, you only really have like certain picks that are very, very good. So gambling on the artifacts is just definitely not worth your Sky Stone. Also, if we look at heroes, you're going to notice that they're just way more worse heroes in the game than good. Um, you're going to notice I don't actually own every single hero because I've been hurting on bookmarks. But let's just look at a random element, for example. Let's look at like this first page of fire units, excluding like the collab units like Benamaru, uh, Edward Elric, and also the limited units like Hall of the Euphine because you can't get them, right, from this um, uh, select, not selector, five-star hero summon ticket. So Abigail, not really a unit you, I would recommend pulling for if her banner was running, so not that great. Uh, Sermia, she's free to play, so first two units already not really that good. Hua Young's pretty niche in Yodor's offense. I wouldn't recommend pulling either on banner, so three units out of three. Kane, only really used for uh, Rift. I think he's very good for this season, but if you're not super late, not worth it either, so four out of four. Ten, only used in Rift as well, and like some Hunt one shots and Ancient Inheritance. I wouldn't really recommend either unless you're super late game, so five out of five. And you kind of get what I'm saying. Most of the units are not going to be that great. And honestly, the price for how much these cost, it might look very cheap, because when you're pitying banners, it usually costs you around like 7,000, 8,000 sky stones to pity a banner. However, keep in mind, on average, on every single banner that you go for, because there is the guaranteed pity and because there is like the chance you get the unit, on average, I believe it's about 60 to 70 pulls per banner. Like on the course of your entire account career, it'll probably take you 60 to 70 on average for every banner. Now, I know a lot of you guys will be like in the comments, oh, but I pity every banner. Like, my account's cursed. Yeah, me too. But on average, for other players, it will take you about um, 60 to 7 pulls per banner, right? And because of that, uh, you're going to see that the Skystone cost, especially when you're re-rolling Garrow's store for um, Covenant Bookmarks, will come to about like 4,000, 5,000. So yes, it is like about half that amount, but because there are more than double the amount of bad 5-star heroes right now than good, uh, it's not really worth it. Same with the artifact. This might bait a lot of new players, and sure, I'm going to say it's not worth it, just statistically, but if you want to gamble, be my guest. You might go for this 5-star hero summon ticket and get like a Lua and be like super blessed. Or 5-star artifact summon ticket and get like an Alexis basket or a bloodstone for PvE and be very happy. But I'd say most of the times, even if you do get lucky, a lot of other players will get unlucky. So overall, I have to say in general, it is not worth it. Now, next we have Molagora. So these are 50% off, pretty cheap. I'd say these are worth it if you are really hurting a Molagora. I'm pretty hurting on Molagora right now. I wouldn't really recommend this for newer players though because you need all your resources to pull on new banners, especially if you don't own a lot of the good heroes. But if you're in the late game, definitely worth it. Even in the mid game, if you're struggling to skill enhancing units, it might be worth it as well. Galaxy Bookmarks, never worth it. These are a scam. You have a 2.5% chance at a Moonlight 5 star and a lot of the Moonlight 5 stars aren't that good. So even with this discount, I would not buy it. Um, of course, there's going to be that one person in chat, or not in chat, in the comments that like one pulls like Abyssal Euphine or Navy Captain Landy or Conqueror Lease and be like, wow, so good. Why do you not recommend these? Uh, yeah, screw you. <laughs> Statistically, not worth it. And everyone will hate you for getting lucky if you actually buy it and pull a unit like that. Next, we have these Mana Stones for both level 88 and level 90 gear or 85 gear, right? Um, these are hard to gauge because these are very new into the game. But I'd say if you have a piece that has like four perfectly rolled base starting subs and it rolled very badly, it might be worth it because these are pretty rare, right? I think Smilegate stated that these will be pretty rare. So if you do have a gear piece of gear like that, it might be worth it. 
For the 88 pieces, if you're going to roll like raid gear, I wouldn't really recommend it because of the fact that uh, those raid pieces you can get every month. If it's like Ancient Inheritance gear, then maybe I'd recommend it. I have some Ancient Inheritance pieces that are not that good. I'm not going to really look too much. Uh, if I actually find it right now... Actually, not the Ancient Inheritance. This thing. This ring for last year's Epic 7 World Championship, this rolled terribly. Equipment score 91 is just really bad for this type of ring because it starts with perfect substats. So I actually might buy one of these um, reminder mana stones and re-roll it, but it's really up to you. Skin tickets. So I think these are a good deal if you're into aesthetics. If you don't care at all, then you can skip on these, but skin tickets are very rare in this game, very hard to get without spending money. The only time you really get it consistently is from the Epic Pass, which runs like, what, four or five times a month, very rarely. And you only get like 20, I believe, so you can get 30 here for only, what, how many Skysons is it? 160, 320, 480. So I'm going to buy them because I'm into aesthetics. I think Smilegate should do more with skins because skins are a very easy way to monetize the game. But I think these are worth it if you're into like the skins and stuff. Otherwise, of course, it's just aesthetic. It won't help your account progression, so you can skip on it. Now for the rotating ones, I don't really think any of them are worth it, except for like maybe the equipment conversion gems if you find them. And like beefs are always worth it as well, unless you're really new to the game. Uh, but for the most part, everything else is not really worth it. And of course, what I bought out, Hoochie's Lucky Chest, even before this actually had this 20% off at 100 Sky Stones, it was very worth it because you have a chance at like 5 star heroes, you have a chance at like Molagora, a ton of leafs. And I'd say 95% of the time, whenever you buy this chest, it's always going to give you more value back than the Sky Stones you put in, even more so with this discount. And a lot of the times, it just gives you crazy, crazy value. I think I've gotten on the course of my account about like three five star units from this whenever Hoochie's um, shop ran. So, very good investment if you guys want to spend your Sky Stones on that. Yeah, just to summarize, don't get scammed, guys. I think the 5-star hero and the 5-star artifact summon tickets will scam a lot of players, new and old. Um, but personally, it's not worth it, especially if you're even, like, late game, because you're going to just end up getting a dupe, and it's probably going to be a shitty dupe, too. Like, I don't know, like a like a fucking haste dupe or something. So don't do it, guys. I know for sure you guys can get something bad. Maybe I'll do it for fun in a future video so you guys can see. And it'll be funny if I get very lucky and get something good. Um, but hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And hopefully I was in time before you guys spent your sky stones on random stuff. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.